Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on this power inverter. Now this is by a company that's called Xgati. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry guys if I'm not saying it right. But this is it right here guys. 5000 watts. Xgati. Just want to show you the name right there okay now it says input DC 12 volts that's the one they marked off okay so I'll put AC 120 volts so there you have it let's take it out of the box it comes with this wire also okay also has a, I believe this is for the negative. Connect this to the to the body of the car, and these go to the battery of the car, negative and positive. Also brings a little wrench. It brings two wrenches. Okay. So let's check this bad boy out. It's kind of heavy, so let me see. How can I take this out of here? Now you have your little manual here, user manual. So always check this, guys. Before you start messing around with anything you buy, always look at your manual. It's going to give you a lot of information and how to use it. Okay? So there you have it, guys. Now this also comes with a little remote control display. As you can see there, it tells you all the information, the volts, the watts, okay? Your battery gives you information about the battery, how many volts you're using, how many watts. There you have it, you see? It gives you everything right there. And it has four outlets, okay? It has a nice little fan back here. And I believe these are. Wait, let me see. Okay, it has a Type C charging port here, USB, and this one here is for the remote. Okay, this is for the remote, USB port, Type C port here. So you can charge your phone, cell phone, laptop, whatever you want to charge. Okay. So. This gives you more information, the voltage, the wattage, and also inverter troubleshooting right there. If it overheats, overloads, low input voltage, high input voltage, okay? Just read your manual. In case you run into trouble, you read this and you know what's going on. So this is the little remote. I was talking about there you have it now I'm gonna be testing this out of my car I'm gonna connect it to the battery I'm gonna plug some stuff in check out the information that comes up on here see what kind of information comes up as far as the volts and watts and stuff like that Just the wire has a pretty long wire and like I said this is this is good for RVs if you have a boat if you're going camping this is perfect okay you can plug in a fridge a little microwave a AC whatever you guys want to plug in this definitely will do the job because this has 5,000 watts so it should have no problem but like I said I'm gonna connect a few things just to see how it holds up now this screw came out but it goes right there see it has one here and this one goes here so that's the big fan on the side right there you can see okay 
Now this goes to the positive side of the battery and this goes to the negative side. So you get your wire, connect one here, one here, connect one here, positive, negative, directly to the battery of your car. Okay? And back here, you have your on and off button, you have your four outlets, and this is for the uh, there's one for the negative I believe is that one I'm not sure what this PE and L is that's why I, I told you before read your manual so let's go to the manual and see what that's for okay so there you have it the L is live wire the N is neutral wire and the PE is the earth wire so there you have it okay right there tells you all the information you need see LNPE tells you right there so there you have it guys now the square red switch simply push the button up or down to select input voltage the red square switch you know what let's see this is where that negative wire goes the gr not negative the ground wire right here this little knob here you untwist it and you connect this yellow cable there okay that yellow cable now that we're talking about let me see here square red switch where's that at where's the square this is the power button here let's see where that red square switch I don't see it here Maybe they're talking about this uh, red one. Maybe. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see something here. I don't see no red square switch. I only see... I only see... Square red switch. Number 11. Let's see. I don't see no red square switch here, number 11. Let me show you guys real quick. You see? It says here, square red switch. Simply push the button up or down to select input voltage. So... Okay, maybe it's on here. When I guess when this turns on, it'll show up, and you can uh, move it up or down. So I'm guessing that's it. Okay. So there you have it, guys. Five thousand watt power inverter by X X Cari. So I hope I'm saying that right. If not, I'm sorry. But there you have it, guys. And like I said, if you go camping, this is it right here. You want to plug in a TV, microwave, run it off your battery from your car, your RV, your boat, whatever it is that you're using. This comes in handy, believe me. Trust me when I tell you. Or if you want to vacuum the car, like me, I work outside with my tools. I can plug in a vacuum here in this port. I can plug in, a, let's say I'm using a cutter, I plug it in here or a welder or whatever it is that I'm using or let's say I go to the beach and um, I want to run my radio let's say I'm by the car you know wherever you are you can use this as long as you have a a, a battery source where you can run this from there you have it 
Okay, you can't go wrong. And like I said, it has this nice remote control. Very nice. With a long wire. And like I said, I'll, I'm going to be st testing this out on my car. I'm going to plug in my vacuum, like I said, and a couple of other things. And we'll see how it goes. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to connect the Exgati 5000 watt power inverter. I have my extension cord here. Battery cables here. And the remote uh, device here also. And these are the two wrenches that they provide. Now this extension cord doesn't come with it. This is mine. It just comes with this cables. Battery cables and this one. And the ground wire. Now this ground wire I believe you can connect it to any source on your car. For ground. So let's get started guys. First thing I'm going to do is connect the... Uh, Negative and positive on, on, on the unit over there. Let me see if I can put this over here. Okay, sure they're nice and snug. They don't have to be super tight, but... <clears throat> see something here okay these two are gonna go here and the other one over there okay so 
now the ground wire goes back here. That little yellow ground wire goes right on here. Okay? Right there. See if you guys can see right there. Yeah. Okay. get a 10 millimeter so I can unscrew that <clears throat> See if I can put this phone here somewhere. Let it stay still. side Get some pliers done. Help. 
to get some pliers because the whole thing is spinning here and it's not letting me loosen it all the way. There we go. on there we go it's on so let's connect this remote remote control see this brings a very very long cord so you can put this uh, remote anywhere like if you're going camping or fishing or stuff like that so as you can see here it's telling you the voltage DC voltage AC voltage and now we're gonna connect and also the battery status so we're gonna connect the vacuum here you're probably gonna see this change here okay so I'll be right back well I'm not going away really I'm just gonna get this vacuum out of the bag so this is in case you work in outdoors and like me I like to connect my tools to the power inverter like my vacuum to vacuum my car outside or if I'm working on my car like my grinder my drill stuff like that I can use outside perfect to plug it in here so this vacuum is uh, how many watts is this 750 watts okay there you have it Very good vacuum, it's powerful. I've had this vacuum for over five years. It works great. Okay, get in there. So let's turn it on. As you can see the battery on here it dropped one bar as soon as I turned this vacuum on and this started reading the the watts of the vacuum 
how many watts is, is kicking out. Okay. Now you can turn on the car. So let's do that right now. Like let's say you're camping and you have multiple gadgets on. You can uh turn on the car and leave it running so it doesn't kill your battery your car battery we make sure there's nothing here you know what let me um let me leave this here oh well, you know what no because I think this phone will, will fall but let me see if I can stand it up right here hopefully it doesn't fall so you guys can check this out and I turn on the car Oops. Hopefully this wind doesn't knock down my phone. So there you have it, the battery status went all the way up now. And let's turn on the vacuum now. There you have it. The battery status is all the way up. That's 13 volt. AC 119 volt. And the vacuum is pushing 750. 740. There you have it guys. You can run multiple gadgets. Like I said, you can charge your cell phone there. If you're going camping, you can run a microwave. Whatever is it that you're using, you can run it off of this, no problem. Okay? And the fan is not even on. But I haven't let, let this run. Let me leave it running a little while, see if the fan kicks on. But this thing has a lot of power. 5,000 watts, guys. By Xkati. Okay. Very easy to connect. As you can see, I connected it in like five minutes. The ground wire goes there, like I was telling you. Connect it to the back of the unit, and then you connect it right there to the car. And the remote wire. Look at how long this thing is. Very long. Okay. You can turn it on right here. Turn it off see turn it back on and you can do the settings here got a settings button okay I'm not sure how to work the settings button, but there's a button here for the settings, I believe. Just got to look at the manual. But um, all in all, it's a very good unit, guys. Awesome. And like I said, the fan is still not on. So it stays. Let me turn off the car, see if the fan kicks on. I guess it has to get real hot. Or maybe you have to connect a few gadgets on it maybe the fan will turn on then but as for now it's working great so there you have it guys very good unit by X Tati okay. so there you have it guys like share subscribe and God bless guys I'm going to put a link in the description to where you can find this at also, guys. Take care.